Thanks for tuning in for this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm going to be doing yet another brewery that I've not done anything by. Uh, this is by 5050 Brewing out of Truckee, uh, California. I guess that's how you say it. Anyways, this is one of their um, highly touted Eclipse beers, which if anyone's not familiar, it's an imperial stout brewed with honey that they then take and they age in all these different oak barrels that have been used for bourbons, ryes, you know, whiskeys, all sorts of things. Uh, I'm sorry, rye whiskeys, regular whiskeys, whatever. Um, so there's a bunch of different versions, and each version has a different colored wax on top. It doesn't say on the bottle what bourbon barrel or whiskey barrel was used, uh, it was aged in, but um, it just corresponds with the color. So you kind of have to look it up, which is kind of a pain. The other thing that's kind of a pain is the wax to get off, which is why I already took some of it off before uh, recording this, because you guys don't want to sit here and just watch, watch me uh, peel wax off. So... That's a pain. But anyway, this is, uh, I believe, 11.9. Yeah, 11.9% alcohol by volume. This one in particular is the one that's aged in Four Roses bourbon barrels. So pretty excited about that. Uh, these are typically pretty expensive bottles. Um, this one was $35. Uh, birthday gift for myself, just so you know. I don't buy stuff like that all the time. It's just a special occasion. So let's go ahead, open this up, and see what's working with this highly touted beer. I'm hoping it's as good as uh, the money I paid for it would, would assume it is. All right. So there it is. So you can still see that. All right. Very, very dark, as you would assume. Pretty nice head from the pour. Very uh, mocha-looking head to it. Um, let me swirl that up and smell it. Okay. Get a lot of bourbon. Get a nice... But actually, the bourbon's not, like, extremely astringent when it hits your nose, like sometimes uh, bourbon barrel-aged beers can be. It's kind of almost giving it, like, a, um, a bourbon-y sweetness to it. Uh, I also smell that honey aspect, and, of course, I'm getting, you know, what you typically get with, uh, with Imperial Stouts, which is, you know, some chocolate, some roastiness, a little coffee aspect to it. There's a little bit of a licorice note in there. Very subdued, though. It smells nice. Um, it smells like it's not going to taste like the 11.9% alcohol. should be a little dialed back, but let's see. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Uh, it's kind of like a kiss, a decent kiss of, of that bourbon barrel aspect. You get a little bit of that oakiness from the barrel. You get a decent amount of that bourbon, but it's not overpowering the backbone of the beer itself because you also are getting some nice chocolatey notes, that nice roastiness with a little bit of coffee aspect to it. I'm getting a tad bit of that kind of licorice-iness, and I'm getting some of that honey. The body's nice, too. It's not as creamy as I thought it was going to be, but the creaminess is nice where it is at a level. The more I sip on it, the more I'm getting those roasty notes at the end starting to build up, like a little coffee aspect, nice roasted malt, a um, little bit of like a bitter chocolate there. Really nice. Um, so it's like the bourbon. The bourbon's mainly hitting you up front and then just kind of like um, slowly washing down and giving you those more stout malt finish notes. Mm. Integrated very well the spirits in the in this beer. Uh, I see what everyone's talking about. That's a nice beer. I don't know how many of those I'd be willing to buy for $35. I will admit that I kind of want to try all the different variations just to see what the differences are, but monetarily, not a very uh, a good idea. So I won't be doing that. I do have one other one. I have the Heaven Hills Rittenhouse Rye uh, Barrel Aged one, but we'll see when I do that and if it's on one of these episodes or on the actual podcast or whatever. Uh, but speaking of which, if there are any beers out there that people want me to try and get a hold of to try either on this or on the regular podcast, you can shoot an email to brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. Um, whatever ideas are fine, we'll let you know if it's doable or not, but we'll try. Anyway, 5050 Brewing, your Eclipse beer, at least the one barrel aged in Four Roses bourbon barrels. Very nice. Anybody uh, who likes that kind of stuff... You just got to decide if the money's worth it. Um, you may not be able to, to spring for that. Um, you may be totally fine springing for that, but um, it's it's a commitment when you do that. 
anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. Thank you, everyone, for checking this out. And go have yourself an awesome beer. Thanks.